Take me. Can you take us to a scene where somebody was killed? Yeah, I can take it to a scene. Okay, take us to a scene where, and then I'm gonna record, but just your feet, and you tell us a story right quick. Yes. All right. So Hello. we're again in Humble Park. Hello. We're doing a preview. Hello. For about inside I'm not doing to you. I'm working right inside now. the Latin Kings with the young guys I'm and the movement. I'm doing an interview with somebody right now, trying to get another job. And the movement is gonna go. Okay, so. Like I said, we're doing we're gonna, we're doing a little shoot for uh, uh, we're gonna do a documentary inside the Latin Kings currently, and we got access, so we're on uh, Spalding and Division. We're gonna get a little story. We're gonna get an account here from one of the young guys. He's right here. I'm gonna identify him or show him at all, but he's gonna talk right now. Now tell us right now, little brother, what happened right here? What about at the friend? Sign. What about my friend got blasted and got shot three times? This murder was killed him right there in broad daylight. Uh, oh, so now this was a young guy who got killed? Young right guy, here? 18 years old. So uh, what was the circumstances right now? Tell, give us the scene of how it went down. They shot it, they both passed it, stopped in the stop sign, came out and started shooting at him. And he was standing right here? Standing right here. He was waiting for the bus? Waiting for the bus. And then he ended up dying he right, right here on his bench. So he died right here on his bench, right? Yes, sir. All right. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Right now, we're gonna be going into the 2018, uh, there's gonna be an election for governor. Now, what do you think of the current governor around him? He, he, he don't help the people, man. He don't do shit for us, man. He's just for himself, man. We're tired of it. Now, let me ask you another question. Who do you, there's gonna be, there's a couple of runners. We got Kennedy, Chris Kennedy, possibly gonna run or he's gonna run for uh, the governor and we have uh, Pritzker and we have Rauner and a, a couple other people. Who do you believe is the best person to be governor? Pritzker. Say, Pritzker? Well, uh, Pritzker is a, a billionaire and uh, Rauner is a, a, a millionaire or a billionaire. What's the difference between these two? Which he's going to help the people out. He's not, he's not a selfish person, it seems. So you actually, so you actually for Pritzker for governor? Yes, sir. So, okay. Now, this Rauner cut all these funds for the ceasefire and all these activities that were out here helping the kids. Do you think that helped us or hurt us? Hurt us. Okay, so you're looking for people to come out actually and do some work here. Yes, and sir. Us. And you're a part of this too. Yes. Okay, so the question is this. You're motivated right now and everybody's tired. The real, so you're telling me really, the young kids are tired of the shooting, right? Yes, sir. So now we come to the point, what do you think how what what direction do you think we should go when we do this conference how do you think what we should what should we do to uh help the kids as alternatives i think we should have black parties arcade rooms bowling alleys places where the kids could go and play have a peace of mind and just be themselves but also education itself all right so now we're on actually this is beach of spalding now what tell us the significance of beach of spalding this is, this is the main spot where all the Latin Kings used to be at gang bangings, selling drugs, shooting, and hanging out. Go straight. Go straight. Okay, okay. take it to another set. Okay, take me to the other set. Uh, take us, because there's going to be a lot of people watching this. Yeah, hello? hello? We're in St. Louis, and what's this street right here? Evergreen. Evergreen. Okay, so this is a short video I'm gonna make. This is gonna be, uh, hopefully it's gonna be for Vice, uh, Vice News, a uh, documentary inside uh, the Humble Park uh, with the youth. Now, there's a bunch of kids we're gonna be going through different neighborhoods, but right now, specifically, we are with, uh, what organization? Lion King. Okay, so take it from there. Tell us where we're at. We are, we are Evergreen in St. Louis. Okay, tell us the history about this and what's going on. This history right here, it's, a lot of Kimber got killed in this area. In the 80s, in the 70s, in the 60s, in the 90s, 2000s. A lot of blood been shed in this neighborhood. Which way you want me to go? Make a right. Make a right? Okay. So tell us now, are we, what, is this King's neighborhood right here too? Yes, yes sir. Is this the boundary? This is the borderline. Borderline. And what street is this? This is, this is going to be Le Moine. In Central Park. So we're on Central Park and heading Hurst, south. And Hurst, and Central Park and Hurst. We're heading south on Central Park, and this is the Latin Kings neighborhood, is the borderline. So what is that way on Hirsch? Yes, uh, west of Hirsch. That, 
Maniac Land Disciples, okay. All right, so tell us exactly, tell us what's going on right now with all everything. How do you see it? Because you are the young guy out here. This is a violent area. A lot of murders been going on lately and I'm tired of it. Kids been getting killed for no reason over colors mm -hmm. that mean something, but at the same time, there's too much blood that's being shed in this neighborhood. People gotta stop and get together, man, and work, work things out. All right, so now you're actually in a movement that's going on in Humboldt Park, which I am also involved, this is for the record, where the youth are coming up and they're gonna start doing, we're planning on doing some dialogues. The young man that's with me right here, tell us who you are, don't tell us your name, don't tell us nothing, but tell us how do you feel and what is your intention I, uh, with what we're doing right now? Trying I feel to get good about it. I just want everybody to get together and have peace. It's tired of blood being shed, families crying, over the dead sons, dead daughters, like everything got to stop, man. Okay, so now you do have, you you are in contact with these young people out here, other from other gangs, yes, right? Yes, sir. You know them. Yes, sir. Okay, so you believe we're gonna be able to contact them and do and, and talk, yes, sit sir. down, and have a conference? Yes, sir. All right, cool then. So tell me more about. This is the neighborhood. Also. Okay, so I'm in the car right now. I'm with the young brother that's from the other side of the park, and uh. uh from uh, Atlanta Kings, he's gonna take us and he's gonna tell us about this neighborhood. Tell us about this neighborhood over here and where we're at. This is Dragon's Hood. All right. Okay, so when you were, uh, when you were locked up, because you were locked up, it's like I was the time. You got to you got to meet a few of these people, right? Yes, sir. And what do you think? I, uh, we got along real fine. We got along real fine, and we broke bread together. I can't I can't beat that. I broke bread with him. He broke bread with me. We we ate together. We made pizzas together, cakes together. That was inside of the joint, right? Yes. All right. So your thought now is is in line with the rest of us thinking that if we if that. we if we could get along together while we're locked up in prison and we're from different organizations, we could do it out here, right? Yeah, yeah. Because we, we, we got to stop stop dealing with baby mamas, all that drama, and being the same. Just think, think about our life. All right. Tell us this neighborhood right now. Where we're at? Zagas neighborhood. We're on California, we're heading California north. California and Cortez. And we're heading north toward Division. Now tell us about this area and the people from here. How do you know them? Where, how you met them before? Tell us the good things and tell us what you're looking for. There's a lot of good families out here. A lot of good families, but since they still have family members that are gang bangers, which I understand because I'm a gang banger. But at the end of the day, we still need peace. And you believe we can do this, right? Yes, sir. Well, I believe too. I, I believe this without a doubt that we can get together because I got the same experience. I've been locked up. I did a lot of time. I'm 52. You're 20. How is, what's your, what age are you? I'm 28. 28. Okay, so you're the age of my children too. My Not to say that you're a child, but to say that that's how we look at it because I'm older. Uh, so I know that we meet a lot of people that are locked up and there's a different story. So like I say, we're in there, literally. Right. We're in there literally even walking ourselves to seg. We were wanting to be with each other in cells that are a gent with a king, a gangster with a king, whatever goals. Uh, and why can't we do it out here? Everybody in there says the same thing. We're going towards maniacs. Okay, here. so we're gonna go to the maniacs. Now, I'm gonna show you this wall. And I wanna ask you an opinion about this wall here. Now, this is where, this is the Professor Oscar Lopez. Uh, this is Professor Jose Lopez Rivera's area. Where the, the FALN, you heard of them? From the Puerto Rican Cultural Center? Not in here, him. No? Okay, so we're coming on Evergreen. This is, this is Maniac's hood right here. This is still Maniac's hood. This, this is their main hood, my nigga. Okay, so now we're in what neighborhood? Maniac's. We're in Maniac's. And we're coming through because we're doing a short documentary because we want to, uh, the young brother came out the joint recently. You guys are gonna know who he is. We're gonna get in, he's gonna get in contact with uh, the Cobras, the disciples, everybody he knows. And we're gonna uh, see if we can do a documentary. Make the left. No, you can't make the left. No, we're gonna go straight. No, go straight. Yeah. And we're gonna see uh, if we can do some, uh, uh, an agreement and we can get some peace out here. So again, we're trying, we got a young guy out from Humble Park. I ain't gonna identify him now. He's got a bulletproof vest on because it's dangerous out here. And I'm driving with him, so he gotta wear my vest. Uh, I don't got a vest, but it don't make a difference. And we're out here because we're doing a doc. We're gonna intend to do a documentary for Vice News, uh, and it's gonna be with the maniacs, uh, the Latin Kings, the Jivers, Cobras, everybody we can get. And we're gonna move for peace. 
Is that, okay, is that correct? Yes, sir. Peace, man. That's all we want is peace. Okay, so where are we? We're on Rockwell? We're on Rockwell. And Evergreen. Evergreen. Rockwell. And we're going north on Rockwell now. Tell us about the area. Tell us the history and who you are. Not your name or nothing in general. Puerto Rican. I'm Whatever. Puerto Rican. I've been through a lot of my life. Grew up on Spalding, the vision of Spalding. Kezin Cortez was born and raised on the morning Spalding. Started getting back when I was 13. Been in jail half my life. I'm just tired of the, murder, of the killing, man. I'm just tired of the killing. Who have you lost recently? No. I mean, no. Okay, yeah, don't say no names. Just say like if he's a friend or a cousin I or one of your a, boys. A good friend of mine just passed away like two weeks ago on Potomac and Spalding. And what was the circumstances under that? It was set up. Somebody set it up. They shot him in the head two times through a gangway. And it was like, there was like a lot of people in front and they didn't do nothing about it. Yeah. So we're on Lemoyne, Lemoyne and Rockwell. And this is still? Maniacs. It's all maniacs, okay. So we're gonna contact the maniacs. He's gonna contact the maniacs that he knows, the young brothers, and we're gonna try to get something going together here. So again, if whenever you, whoever sees this video, whatever organization you got, we're in Humble Park. Humble Park is coming together, trying to come together. We have this young brother, he's got the joint. Make it right. you'll, you'll know who he is when you see him. He's got a joint, he's a Latin king, and he's talking peace, and we're actually moving toward it. So we're gonna do a documentary for Vice News, that's what we attend on this, and we want everybody to join us so that we can get on this Vice News, and, uh, uh, and that way we can speak up. We need all the organizations to come forward. Go ahead, little brother, where are we going? We're going towards King's Hill. All right. So we're on North Avenue, heading east, Yes, coming up to uh, Western. We're leaving Humble Park and we're entering Wicker Park, right? Wicker Park. Okay, we're gonna go into Wicker Park now from Humble Park. Tell us about Wicker Park. It was a peaceful area, but there's a lot of gang bangers as well. And the, the kids going out with the gents, the SDs. Okay, so in that area is the Latin Kings, the SDs, and the gents, and all three of them are fighting each other, right? Yes, sir. They're all fighting They're each all other. Fighting each other. Right. All right. And there's been a lot of murders. Murders. But yet these same guys, when they get locked up, the same brothers, when they go to the joint, what happens? We all get along. All right. We want a setting, a Hispanic setting, through the door. Right. But we don't get them. Right. Okay. So if we can get along out inside the penitentiary, we definitely can get along out here. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. So now we're, we're in Wicker Park now. We just crossed over for western boundary of Humble Park going east on North Avenue. We're at, Cle uh, where's that? Claremont, passing Claremont. Tell us this area. This is this is Wicker Park. This is, well, this is, this is King's area right here. What is your closest rivals right here? Where, where are they located? The Gents. The Harrison Gents? Oh, hey, hold on. All right, now we're just east of Milwaukee and Damon. Now we cross into what neighborhood we cross into? MK's. So this is the Milwaukee Kings neighborhood over here. All right, tell us about the Milwaukee Kings. They're going out of everybody. The two, the, the SDs, the Gents, the Kings, the Maniacs, the Cobras, Prasas, Saints. We're just tired of the violence, man. So now when you were locked up, no, give no name specifically, but were you uh, were you with any MKs and did you get along with any MKs? And what was, you know, how did they end up with them? Got along faith faithfully, got along real good, man. None, so all that gang stuff was put aside, right? Put to the side. Inside we the are what we are, don't get me wrong. We are what we are, but at the end of the day, we show respect to each other and we just trying to pass time smoothly. We ain't trying to do no violence or get, get into a fight. We might get into a few, few fights for some tough, tough Tony ass niggas, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, but we move on. All right, so that's the message right there. So the message really now, because I'm going to wrap this up, and we're in the Milwaukee Kings neighborhood, and I do know a few Milwaukee Kings too, so I'm going to talk to a couple of older guys, but uh, we're going to see. Yeah, we can go through here. It's a two-way. Uh, we're going to see if we it's can do good, some. Nigga. Huh? Don't worry about it. I we're, know, nigga. We're ready. I know. I know some of them, so, but not the young guys. So we're taking a chance of getting shot up over here. But it's for a chance for a good reason. 
Because what we want to do is peace. And I got a young brother here. I'm an old guy. I'm 52 years old. These buildings, when I was a gent, we used to be over here. A lot of the brothers over here. And there was a lot of gents here. And the MKs too, we knew them. They, they were people that we knew. So this area right here, Palina and Beach and all that, just the Joaquin's neighborhood now. And the young brother who's 28, right? Yes, sir. He's got the penitentiary. And the message is... Go ahead. Give us the message. Give us peace, man. All we want is peace, man. Our family needs peace, man. Stop the killing, man. All right, then. We're going to wrap it up. Everybody who sees this, this is why we're out here. We have to come with a bulletproof vest. The brother got a vest, so everybody knows. Pretty. We do have... We are in danger, right? Yes, sir. All right, and then so we're going to get out the neighborhood, and we're going to wrap it up. All right? We're going to wrap it up, and then we're going to go powwow. Oh, we're ready powwow. <laughs> All right? And we're going to take care of business because the young man got to go... Uh, to La Bomba restaurant who was so uh, gracious enough to give him a job when they have it. And again, La Bomba restaurant in Humble Park who had gave this little brother a job and he got kids, you know, to feed and everything and he's out there working. And again, like I said, La Bomba restaurant. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in on that. Now, let me zoom on this right here. La Bomba restaurant. La Bomba restaurant. That, uh... <laughs> The Bomba restaurant is giving a job. Tell us about La Bomba. Yeah. The opportunity they gave us, gave you. Man, he gave me a good job. He, he helps me out a lot, man. Kato's a good man. Just to let your people know, you know. What's his name again? Kato. Kato, okay. So Kato, uh, the Hispanic community thanks you, Kato, from La Bomba restaurant for giving this little brother a young, uh, who's young, 28 years old, and trying to do right, which he is now, because you got yourself a person working for you who's gonna bring peace. And uh, and also, you're gonna have good publicity because I'm gonna do a nice video for you of your store and put it out there. All right, so thank you, Cato, from La Bomba for giving our little brother a job and we're out here doing for peace. Everybody who sees this, I don't care what organization you're at, wherever you're at, emulate this because this is what's happening in Chicago. Chicago is the birthplace of the original Latin King. So anybody who's a Latin King, I can say this much, that as anybody's a Latin King, give them the message. All we want is peace, man. Peace. So you recommend this to the other brothers? Yes, sir. And as far as Beach and Spa or you know, whatever area you're at, are you, that's what you're gonna move for? Yes, sir. You got authority to do it? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. I'm riding with you. Hello. Yeah, this is the same thing. We're going towards Maniacs. Okay, here. so we're gonna go to the Maniacs. Now, I'm gonna show you this wall, and I wanna ask you an opinion about this wall here. Now, this is where, this is the Professor Oscar Lopez, uh, this is Professor Jose Lopez Rivera's area, where the, the FALN, you heard of him from the Puerto Rican Cultural Center? Not in here, here. No? I'm not okay, no, you haven't heard of him? Okay, now, I'm going to show you that thing. What do you think about that? What do you think about that sign right there? What it says? What do you think about that right there? That's insulting. Huh? That's insulting. Why would it be insulting? How do you see it as insulting? Tell me. That's what I'm saying. Zero, zero shots, shots zero, zero kill. kill. Right, today in Chicago. You think that's the truth? No. Okay. You know. Now I'm going to show you another thing. Here goes another thing. You're Puerto Rican, right? Yes, sir. What do you think about the Puerto Rican flag right there that they're trying to be changed to a di different colors? Even though it's uh, uh, gay and lesbian, why? even though that's a separate issue, why? what do you think about that flag being put there? That's like a real that? disrespectful thing to our flag. Would you fly that flag? Is that, you know, I mean... I would never fly that flag. But do you have anything against people that are gay? Or no, I don't. No, I don't. But okay. Well, I agree with you. I don't either. But I don't agree that the Professor Jose Lopez Rivera... This, now we're standing in front of uh, the Puerto Rican Cultural Center, in front of uh, terrorist Professor Jose Lopez Rivera's place. There's this shit right here. There he is right there. I can, could I could come out for a comment? Come on, sir. Thank you. I'd like to have a comment from you, please. Come on, sir. Mr. Uh, Professor Lopez, can I have can I have a comment? Can I have a comment about being a terrorist, bro? Huh? Sir, can I? You represent the Puerto Rican community, right? Okay. Can I get a comment about him? About how you doing, honey? I'm trying to find out. Because they got Professor, why do you got this thing that says zero zero killings? You're bringing heat to us. That's from the Puerto Rican high school. Well, they don't they put it. He don't have nothing to do with it. No, that's the art teacher's project. But that's what I'm trying to find out. Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? Okay, no, I just wanted to find Listen, out. Thank you. Talk, don't come I will. You lower your voice. No, I know. I was just in two incidents.
Professor, can I get a comment about that place over there, sir? Get away from me. I am a legend. I am telling I am an you agent of the news. You be making threats to me. I make threats. You went into my office. Get rid of that. Oh, shit. hey. You know what? I'm going to have you arrested. Have Here's my ID. And I got people. You want to come at me? Hey, DJ. Give me a comment about. I like to have a comment about the wall that says zero killings and zero. Hey, DJ, come here. Back me up. You're harassing. I want. No, I'm not harassing. I'm a legitimate news. I want to know, and I want to know about the FALN terrorists. Don't talk. About. Don't get back from me. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Back me up. Back me up. Back me up. Don't come over here. I want to know about the wall. Tell me about the wall. Tell me about the wall. It says zero zero and about the FALN. Oh, oh, oh. Because that shit is not right. Now they should fly their own rainbow color flag if they want to next to the Puerto Rican if they want to, but not change the Puerto Rican flag into uh that's my opinion. Do you agree with that? Now tell us about this area right here. This is drivers. Drivers are down the block on the left hand side. Right. Now we're in danger right now, right? Yeah, we're in danger. We're in danger. Wait, what, tell us what could happen right now. You gonna probably get shot, beat up, chased. All right, cool. So I'm gonna be on P's and Q's because I do know the area and I know how to fucking drive. And you got the bulletproof vest on, right? Yes, sir. So acknowledge that at least I can put that vest on. <laughs> All right. Maybe X five. Which way? You want me to go left? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go into the neighborhood. Yeah. Alright, let's do it. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go into the we're not this is not for a drive-by. We're doing a, a, a preview on a documentary. So if anybody's from this neighborhood, any dragons, any drivers, uh we got an invitation and I'm gonna here it is right here. Invitation. He ain't gonna identify himself, but he's gonna tell you what we're doing. Tell him what we're doing. We're trying to get the community together to work on stopping the murders in the area and kids dying and young people and the families just crying. He's got to stop. So we're actually coming through it so we can talk about it to do a documentary, hopefully for Vice News. And we want the participation of these guys that are over there because we want to form, uh, 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 we want to form a group, something over here to do with what? Tell them. Help the kids out, help the community out, and just live a happy, peaceful life. And regarding the shootings and the sh and all that. Yes. All right. All right, so that's why we're here. We're here because I got a young man from Humble Park. This is from the other side, Lang King. He's got out of prison and he's coming out and he's saying he met a lot of people in there and they all wanted to get together. together. And we, he's coming over here for peace. I'm in the car with him. We're coming down. To, what street is this? This is Maniacs. Sir. This is Maniacs. So what street are we on? I think we are. The first, we're the first street north of Division. Or is it the second street? Second. We'll find out where we're at right now. So this neighborhood, is, is is this safe for us to be here? Hell no. Nah. Okay, this is not safe for us to be here right now, right? Yeah. Washington okay. uh, and Potomac. It's all maniacs. This is their land right here. Okay, so this, this is maniacs. Is their this is where they cruise their cars. This is where they run their cars. This is where they chase people, shoot. But okay, so back to what we're talking, you know them because you were locked up. Yes. And you're coming through because you got a message. And what's that message? I want peace. That's all I want in my life for my kids, for my family, just peace. Stop the killing, man. Just stop the killing. So that's what we're on. That's the movement, right? Yeah. All right, cool. So that's exactly what we're on. So we're actually 